so today we've been here seeing the first ever uh, La Perla menswear show here in Florence. And I think to have the event out of Milan, um, out of London or Paris or even New York, to have it in a place like Florence, which is at this time is engrossed in menswear, um, where it's an absolutely fantastic place to kind of be. Predominantly here for a trade show, but then you have a element of a fashion show before you go to Milan, so again, it'll keep it very fresh in everybody's mind. I think the collection's very wearable, and I think they've crossed over a lot of markets. Like They've got um, quite sport looks in there, they've got very ostentatious nightgowns in there, they've got the really nice leggings and the sort of long johns type things, but I think they've got a good range of customer and I could definitely see myself rocking a few pieces that night. I think the biggest standout pieces for me were probably the nightgowns, um, really nice, lovely shawl lapels, the fabrics looked absolutely spot on. I think it's good for La Perla, everybody knows them for the women's wear, which is beautiful women's wear lingerie. I think maybe people are a little bit sceptic of what they're going to do for men's wear, but the men's wear was absolutely on point. It was really nice um, and the show was great as well. The whole idea of using the uh, pearl and the oyster then turned into the eye was absolutely brilliant as well. They brought a lot of kind of high fashion elements in there, a lot of kind of sartorial tailoring touches and a lot of layering that gave it a real fashion feel, if you like, as opposed to just being um, dressing gowns and long johns, etc. I think what La Perla really intended to do here was um, set menswear off with a bang and I think the venue, the atmosphere and the location, where better else to do it, I think there's bright things ahead for the pillar, anyway. Well.